Um, okay, for this topic, it's going to be about the uh, software program from Apple called Configurator. Um, now, this is originally designed for um, schools, uh, businesses, and colleges. Uh, if they have a large number of iPads, iPhones, and iPod Touches, they can manage them from one um, place. And uh, this is one I uh, actually installed on my computer, and this is what it looks like the very first time you uh, open it up, right here. Now, let me talk a little bit about um, the iPads for schools, colleges, and businesses. Um, of course, recently Apple had their uh, big ed education keynote, and uh, they're going to be providing um, textbooks to uh, schools and um, subsidized iPads. Uh, and recently, uh, they just released, they call it the new iPad. It's kind of like the iPad 3. And then the lowered price on the iPad 2s, which are now about $400. And with the educational discounts, it should make it uh, viable for schools. And of course, for businesses... Uh, this year alone, uh, the increase uh, of the iPads has quadrupled in uh, 2012. So this is a really uh, important for these organizations. Okay, it's separating three different um, places, um, parts of the program. Uh, first one's prepare devices. Uh, second, supervise devices. And uh, third is assign devices. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a, a lot of number of iPads, and I'm afraid if I try to uh, use this program to configure my own iPad, it's going to mess up my configuration for my iTunes software. So I've kind of already got some screenshots set up for you um, to show you each one and uh, the function. And it'll look like something like this screenshot where you're going to have uh, a large number of iPads here. And I run down what uh, the first one is, which is prepare devices. Um, you can configure the program using the configurator up to 30 um, devices at one time. Um, update devices to the latest version of iOS, uh, which right now, of course, uh, 5.1 just came out. Uh, create and restore backups, uh, which can be apps and settings. Um, import apps in uh, Apple Configurator and sync them to the new devices. And uh, solutions for remote management, um, possibly through wireless in the network of uh, the schools or colleges, or whatever. And um, we're going to uh, look at, um, actually this is a, another screenshot of the uh, prepare right there. And uh, the next one is supervise. Uh, organize supervised devices into custom groups. Um, once, of course, you prepare your devices, then you, you want to uh, organize them. Um, of course, you can uh, lay them, uh, also import apps into the Apple Configurator and sync them to all supervised devices. Define and apply common sequential names to all devices. And apply restrictions, obviously. Um, Certain people, you only want certain things uh, for that. So you can uh, you can probably set up like uh, if you, if you don't want them to sync to uh, a separate computer, like if you have a student and he takes it home, you don't want him lo loading stuff onto it. Um, so you'd use this configurator to do that. And uh, of course, the last, the third one, and last is. Um, a sign uh, where you can sign it to the. Uh, whatever group or person, uh, add users and groups, sort of like you do with um, uh, an Apple computer already. You can assign the uh, the admin and then the separate users, which the, the don't have the uh, root account. Um, check out a device to a user and restore the user settings and data on that device. So it should be possible to, each person might actually have separate data. It could be certain textbooks, um, they may not be taking certain classes, so each person would be assigned, you know, a unique um, group designator. Apply custom uh, text wallpaper and or uh, the user's picture to a device lock screen. Import and export documents between your Mac and Apple Configurator and sync documents between assigned devices and Apple Configurator. 
So, um, like I said, this is really important step um, for Apple and the users, uh, especially like um, IT admin uh, trying to, you know, uh, do this. Uh, so, I think this is going to be a wonderful program for them. Uh, this is obviously not really for the home user. <clears throat> but if, uh, let's say, uh, you have a family that has maybe um, two or three iPads, um, some iPhones, and iPod Touches, then this might be some use to them, where you can um, all together, add, uh, add them all together, and then, you know, do an upgrade all at once. So, uh, um, that's very nice. 